This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You guys are probably wondering why my PC case is standing here. Ah, it's very dusty. I think it's time to clean it out a bit. And I also want to increase 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 the hard drive capacity, the storage space. I was looking for something like a hard drive dock or something that I can put two or three hard drives in. But then I realized a while ago my wife's PC crashed. Well, it didn't crash. I think the power supply went bye-bye. But it's not working anymore. And in her computer, she's got two hard drives. So I want to see if I can actually put them in this case. I just want to make sure that I've got all the correct headers and so on. And at the same time, I'm just fix this this thing, the dogs pulled on the cable and pulled this whole front panel off, uh, basically loosening everything inside. So you can see the whole port there is moving. So let's see if I can secure that again in place. Okay, so it seems like we only have one bay left to put one hard drive in there. Since I'm in here, let me quickly just uh, clean everything and then uh, redo this cable management. I found the reason why this panel is loose. The screw is missing. And luckily, I found the screw inside the case. If you can see that there is the other screw. Hopefully it didn't strip out. I'm just gonna put those two screws back. And uh, I'm busy with my brush. Just cleaning out all this stuff. Yo, there's a lot of dust in here. You guys have to know, you have to clean your computer out every year or so. It will help with cooling. It will help to keep it nice and clean inside. You don't like these dust bunnies. So yeah, Sisa. See if we can clean out all of this. This is a, a PC vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I got it in my kit for my birthday and I think that was like 2010. I got this kit and this is the first time ever 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 I'm using this I must say this is quite interesting press the button and then you can vacuum up dust and whatever you have on your computer okay that's interesting so you can even clean in there so uh, yeah let me continue cleaning this is interesting this is all the tips that you get with it you get this tip this uh, sharp end then you have your one of the brush and you've got this big one and in front it's got like a little filter so yeah this is actually quite interesting i've never used this before so yeah let me continue okay so this unit also has a blowing function if you don't want to vacuum everything and just want to blow stuff away you can do that as well so it's actually quite a handy little thing to have so I'm cleaning out I cleaned out this fan already in between the the fins and I look at that dust bunny scissor got them sucked out between the fins here so uh, yeah I'm just gonna continue cleaning I was lucky enough to find four more SATA ports on my board, right there. Here's the old case, and there's the two hard drives that I want. So they're not very big, they're both about 80 gig um, hard drives. And then you guys still remember the old ribbon cables. Oh, there they are, the old IET, IDE cables. I have to undo all these cables now to extend the power cables because I need the power connectors to go to the other side of the plate. I found out now that this case doesn't have enough space for three hard drives. There's only enough space to put two big um, hard drives. So I'm gonna have to place the other one loosely on top there, just for the time being. 
Okay, for now, I'm just gonna leave it loose like this. I'll sort out the cable management now. Let me first go start up the PC, see if it posts, see if it reads all the hard drives, see if I can access the hard drives before I make it neat and close everything up. Ah, there's the motherboard, it's posting. Let's see if we have any errors or any issues. What's on the drives? On the one drive, there's Windows XP. On the other drive, there's Windows 7. I used to have a dual setup on the old computer. Now this motherboard does not allow for dual boot. So you cannot adjust between the two specific hard drives. So if it reads, then I would like to take off the pictures whenever it's on that hard drive, and then format both of them. I'm going to use them for backup drive, one for games, one for music maybe, one for documents or we'll see because they're not big, it's 280 gigs. I must have absolutely love the wallpaper engine. Look at that, isn't this a nice wallpaper? You can see the water running. Uh, let's see, moment of truth, I'm going to go there, my computer, let's see how many hard drives we see. There's the XP one, there's the Windows 7 one, it's a good stuff man, they're reading all the hard drives, that's my SSD, my 1TB and the other two. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all. There is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.